Hi, I'm Tasanka. And my name's David. And today we're gonna be talking about ghosting. We know that everyone knows what the term ghosting means at this point because all of us have either been ghosted, have ghosted someone, or both. So ghosting is super common on dating apps and it's really inevitable and actually hard to avoid. But I mean, I would say if it happens to you, as hard as it is, just don't take it personally. Yeah, it truly happens to everybody. And the thing about it is sometimes it's just easier to not. And a lot of people feel that way. Some people are introverts. Some people find it tough to have those conversations to just let you know. So just really don't take it personally. Yeah, and if it happens to you, just move on and don't put any energy towards it. Because if someone is ghosting you, you don't want to be in a relationship with them or give them your time anyway. So might as well just move on and just know that it's not about you. It's something with them. And if you find yourself in a situation where you may think it's easier to ghost, don't be that person to end ghosting. You know, it'll make everyone feel better. And who knows, the world is so small, you're probably going to run into them anyways. That's so true. I think be a leader in communicating with, with people and people respect you for it. And I think step up and help to end this era of ghosting because it is not healthy. And we want to make sure that we're communicating. And that's a great start to a relationship is being communicative. And I think a lot of people do look for good communicators in relationships anyway. So you're off to a good start there. And speaking of communicating, let's talk about starting conversations within dating apps. I think the best way to start if you don't know what to do at all is go to their profile and see if they mentioned anything specific. Maybe they like animals, maybe they're big foodies, maybe they like to travel, and then ask a question or start a conversation based upon interests that they already have. I think this will show that you're intentional, that you're a good listener, that you're wanting to learn more about this person and that you actually care. And I think that'll mean a lot to the person on the other end of the message. Totally. And just be yourself. Like, you know, if you find yourself in a rut of what to say, throw something wild out there. Be funny, tell a joke, say something silly that'll actually catch their attention and want to speak to you more. I love that. And let's also talk about red flags because I think ghosting is definitely a red flag. And so you'll be easy to detect that one, but it's kind of hard to detect other red flags. The only way to really know if somebody has red flags is if you're face to face, like on an in-person date, or if you haven't made it to an in-person date yet, I think a great way to detect flags is hopping on a phone call or FaceTiming with someone. Yeah, the more you interact with them that way, I think it'll just come naturally where you'll see the red flags. And additionally, you could always talk to your friends. Like if something comes up and you think like, oh, that was kind of weird or kind of sus, talk to your friends. They've probably gone through it. They probably have a great opinion on what to do and just move forward that way. Yeah, getting a second opinion is a great idea. Well, I hope this little chat about ghosting and red flags and starting conversations was super helpful. And I'm excited to hear how all of your dating app journeys go. Don't be afraid of ghosts. Ha <laughs>